Part of the left nav bar in Tools is My Branch. Here's the My Branch menu. It has several things in here for you. A lot of things in here are the branch view of things that were LO specific under My Stuff in the menu right above that. We have Branch Accounting, which is a sub-menu, and Request Approvals, which is another sub-menu which we'll get into. Your Active Pipeline tells you active loans in the pipeline. Audit Report will show you the results of the loans um, that have closed recently and the results of those audits if they haven't passed. Branch Information shows some information on your branch in here. Um, some of the stuff you can change, some things you'll need to contact corporate to have um, changed. Cabo options in here. Uh, one of the things you can do in here is this is where you would adjust whether you're going to share the contacts in the database with the entire office or with just a specific team. A team being an LO, maybe a junior LO, and a processor. Closed transactions will show you the closed loans. Closed info will show you the contact information from those closed loans. Commission reports will show you commissions paid on the closed loans. Contacts, again, is specific as a repeat of the contacts and database. You have your decline withdrawals because, again, um, corporate requires that you to complete your decline withdrawn loans uh, and turn those in for Humda and LAR reporting requirements at the end of each month. Downline report is that marketing bonus that is given um, to people for recruiting of other branches. This is the branch manager's downline report. We have the lead list and lead report. This is those lead distribution and management tools available. The ability to review individual LO productions here in LO production. Lock report. This is a reflection of the correspondent loans that have been locked in Cabo's LOS system. And again, that's correspondent only. Missing PCC, that stands for Missing Post-Closing Campaigns. We do encourage everybody to take advantage of those post-closing campaigns, and this will give you a list of the loans that were closed where the clients were not put on a post-closing campaign. Your monthly forecast, when you first log in to Cabo and open at the beginning of a month, you're asked to complete a low and high estimate for your branch closings for that month. Open transactions, this will show each loan record that has an open transaction created for that. And again, that transaction is the financial part of it. So when your loans close at the title company, it's not necessarily a closed transaction yet. That is once the loan has um, been set up for the audit and the deposit has been recorded, the audit's been passed, and then the transaction then needs to be closed before those funds get paid out to the LO and the balance of those things get swept to your branch. Again, we have the production report here, and then request approvals and trouble tickets. Making a little bit more of a formal request if you have an issue. 99% um, of all issues can be resolved with just an email or a phone call, but occasionally an email or a call might slip through or somebody might forget about something. A trouble ticket is adding an extra layer of accountability for a, an issue that might be just a little bit more important and pressing, um, and you want to have a little bit of a paper trail to follow up on that. Let's go back up to the submenu branch accounting. Here we have our account history, which you can review the total of history in the account. And then you have some little sub histories for deposit and expense histories. Your personal account reflects any um, funds that have been set aside from the LOs on their transaction record to be held in the branch's account for them to access later. Recording deposits this is where you would record the deposits for a check from a title company or maybe you took a check for a from a borrower um, for a commitment fee or some kind of application fee and those are deposited here and recorded. Last of all we have request payments. This is what you use if you need to uh, make a branch manager payment request. This is also where you would go to do some expense reimbursement requests. Um, you do want to make sure that you click on the open mortgage expense policy and read that. That way you'll know um, which expense type it is because each type, each expense is typed here for accounting purposes. You complete those and then you'll come down, browse and upload your supporting document and submit. If you have more than one expense to, uh, 
to submit. Once you submit it over here, you'll have request another expense reimbursement tab when that screen refreshes. So that covers our branch accounting. Our other submenu in my branch is the request approvals. In here you have the request correspondent approval. If your branch hasn't been set up and approved for correspondent lending, the branch manager will need to come in here and request correspondent approval. Um, if your branch was not approved as an FHA branch to start with, there will also be a request FHA um, tab in here. Some branches or uh, some lenders need uh, Credco or prefer Credco credit reports and, it, and do not accept your Advantage one. So here's the ability to add that Credco report here. Request DU and LP as well as requesting a new lender. You know, we already have a current list of, of several lenders here and this is to come in and request a, a lender that maybe doesn't have a program that is offered by other lenders that we have or you know if if you're a new branch and there's a, a lender that you work with on a regular basis and close you know three or four or five loans a month with them um, you know you can submit that request and, and open mortgage will consider that just fill it out to the best of your ability and um, if there's anything that needs to be attached, like a, a specific form from that lender to for open to, to fill out, that can be attached here and then submitted. So there we have my branch. This is available to branch managers only. If you want somebody else from your branch to be able to access that, you'll need to contact the Human Resources Department at Corporate and request that they be added as a co-branch manager or branch administrator. Thank you.